He didn't get in the end zone. It's fourth and goal from the one. Boy, the dog's not even thinking about it right now. They are lining up, and they're going to go for it uh, again. They know the importance of getting touchdowns in these situations. Handoff Chubb walks into the end zone. Chubby time. Three minutes into the game. Yes, sir. Boy, what a great job there by David Andrews and Brandon Cablano up front. It just completely dominated their guys up front. Nick Chubb walking that into the walking that into the end zone. You couldn't have scripted it any better for the Georgia Bulldogs on the first drive of the game. Malcolm Mitchell out. Hand off Chubb near side. Chubb with space. Chubb. Oh, what a move at the 45. Chubb on his way. Down to the 20. Down to the 10. Five. Did he get to the pylon? No, out of bounds. Down to the one and a half. Oh, he abused the guy at the 45-yard line and just ripped off yard after yard down inside the Tech 5. Boy, did he ever. Was one-on-one with the Tech defender on the outside. Just stuck his foot in the ground like he was going to go left. Georgia Tech defender goes flying, and then off Chubb goes to the races. Second and goal from the one. Dogs unpiled. Get back to the line of scrimmage. There's 27 waiting. He tries to dive. He lost the ball! He hit the pile and lost the ball. He fumbled it, and Tech has recovered it. Oh, my goodness. He tried to dive over the pile, and when he did, he made contact with somebody in the pile, and it stripped the ball out of his hands, and Tech has recovered it. They fell on it at the three-yard line. Well, we ran into the back of our own guy. It was Brandon Cablano that Nick Chubb was trying to launch over. It just never really got off the ground, and it looked like Cablano's elbow knocked that football out. Two receivers left. Toss it to Michelle with Hicks blocking. Michelle to the sideline. Michelle, 10, 5, 3, and where? Down to the... He fumbled the football. He fumbled it through the end zone, and it went out of bounds. The officials are saying it's a touchback. It's going to be Tech's ball. We fumbled it through the end zone. Michelle coughed it up through the end zone. Second fumble inside the five-yard line by Georgia today. Boy, Sonny Michelle trying to reach out and get that football over the pylon. I actually don't think it got out of the end zone. It looked like Johnson for Georgia Tech actually fell on the football in the end zone. Uh, Again, dogs just dominating this football game but being eaten up by mistakes. Dogs have fumbled it twice today. Thomas going to throw a fade to the right side and an easy touchdown as their big guy Darren Waller at 6'5 and 241 goes up between two red shirts and makes an easy catch for the score in the front left corner of the end zone and Tech gets a touchdown. Yeah, and Waller just got on the hip of Damian Swan and Damian Swan couldn't elevate to go even attempt to make a play on that ball. Third down and two. Dog fans making some noise. Play clock at 11. Thomas looks back over his shoulder to the Tech sideline. Now he's barking out the play. Man in motion. And Thomas will fake it and keep it and run in behind the block. No signal yet. He pushed towards the goal line. Georgia came out of the pack with the football. Georgia's got the ball. They're running down the other way. Damian Swan. There's no whistle. Swan's going to go all the way, I think. 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Damian Swan. They pulled it out of the back and went 97 yards with a football. Touchdown, Swan. Boy, how about that for turn turn around and then some. Somehow we stripped the football out. All the referees were coming in about to blow their whistle. And I think they were as shocked as anybody to see Damian Swan streaking down the sideline. Paul Johnson's out on the field asking for a timeout. Certainly they want to play reviewed on that. There was no whistle. The play was not blown dead. Georgia tried to line up and kick the extra point. I'm not sure what they're going to review here if there were no whistles on the play. (laughs) Sterling Bailey comes in. A little more beef across the line of scrimmage for Georgia. First and goal from the four. Everybody in tight. Handoff Lasky. Oh, he waltzes into the end zone. Big hole at left tackle and a touchdown Georgia Tech. Four-yard run from Lasky. Well, they just went right through our defense that time. Yeah, they did, and that, that is just a sign that our defense has been on the field for way. This one will be a try of 48 yards from the near hash kicking. Oh, we fake it. We run it with Morgan. We fake it. Marshall Morgan off to the races. 20, 15, 10, 5, down to the 3. Erickson took the snap and just pitched it over his head and off Mar- Marshall Morgan went to the far corner. We faked the field goal and it's first and goal at the 3. Boy, and a Great job on the outside by Jay Rome. Huge block 
that allowed Marshall Morgan to gain the edge. And Marshall Morgan showing some athletic ability just took off. Georgia's first fake field goal since 98 when Quincy Carter faked one. First fake field goal under Mark Richt. He pulls out the stops here against Georgia Tech. They work from the near hash. Turn and hand it to Lasky. Lasky's going to score a touchdown. He ran away from a tackle at the 7 and angles his way into the end zone for the score. And Tech leads for the first time today with 4.22 to go. Boy, and just too easy right there. You can just see our defense continuing to be worn down by this rushing attack that is just relentless from Georgia Tech. Here's the kick by Butker. A high, short pooch kick. And we let it bounce, and Tech picks it up on the bounce. Tech has recovered it. We just let it bounce. We had two guys that messed up. Nobody caught it. Tech caught it off a high bounce. It's their ball. It's whistled dead. And 13 yards to go. Thomas going to take the snap, roll to the right, looking, looking downfield. He pump fakes. He lost the ball. He lost the ball. There's a scramble at the 31. I think George has got it. Who recovered it? There's David Andrews and Pike and Cubano and Houston and Theus, our offensive line. Mitchell and Conley and Bennett, our receivers. Blazevich is the tight end. Chubbs in the backfield. Hudson Mason's the quarterback. He'll work out of the shotgun. Here it is. Here's the ball game. Last play. Mitchell in motion across the formation to the right. Here comes Tech. Mason going to throw right. Hey! Mitchell caught it. Touchdown in the end zone. Malcolm Mitchell caught it. Touchdown. Touchdown. Boy, what a great catch there by Malcolm Mitchell. Able to go up, ran a little out route in traffic again and just got blown up when he caught it, but strong enough to hold on to it. And no plays bigger than that one. The dogs somehow find a way to take the lead in this football game. Malcolm Mitchell's going to have a story to tell in his next book club meeting. He caught the winning touchdown against Georgia Tech. They're going to try almost a 54-yard field goal. Harrison Butker to try to kick it. Here's the snap and the hold. The kick is away. Does it have leg? I think it is. Good. Oh, my God. He made it. Boy, he made it by about an inch, too. Overtime for the first time in school history at Sanford Stadium. Snap in the hole. The kick is blocked. We blocked the extra point. Ho, oh, ho. Door open. Keishan Freeman, the left end over there, made the tackle. Second goal from the nine and a half for the dogs. We've got to punch it in. Mason in the shotgun. Two receivers right. Fake it and throw. Oh, and it's intercepted by Tech. Tech picked it off. We're trying to go to Malcolm Mitchell. Tech has won the ball game. Tech has beaten Georgia in overtime, 30 to 24. They're all over the field. They intercepted it at the five. We were trying to go to Malcolm Mitchell in heavy coverage. Tech's got players laying on the G.